Hello guys, welcome back to another video. With the release of 5.5, Epic has taken the optimization approaches used in great success to bring metahumans to Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And basically, they are releasing that same tech and the techniques to Unreal Engine metahumans. So now, when exporting metahumans, you can actually download the new optimized metahumans inside of Unreal Engine, which has different optimization options for high, medium, and low optimized metahumans. So as you can see, the average size now for a metahuman is reduce from 800 megabytes so almost a gigabyte all the way down to 60 megabytes with only minor loss in fidelity with the high optimized option selected so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to get started with the optimized metahumans inside of unreal engine 5.5 and these are perfect optimized character models for your games that you can use whether you're creating a pc game or a mobile game the optimized metahumans are now a viable solution to game ready character models and if you guys are trying to learn game development in unreal Unreal Engine 5, I have a complete multiplayer survival game course that will show you the basics on how to create a game from complete scratch that is fully multiplayer replicated so you can join your friends, play with them, gather resources. It's a complete survival game so it has all the things like drag and drop inventory. You have things like a base building system, a tribe system so you can actually raid other players, blow up their base. This course has over 70 plus hours of content, over 250 plus lectures so there's lots of content for you to learn from. We create this open world map that you see here and we add a ton of features and we even host the server in the cloud on Amazon Web Services. So if you guys want to learn all about creating games in Unreal Engine, this is the best course available that will teach you everything you'll need to know. Check it out, link in the description or head over to my website, smartpoly.teachable.com. I'm running a limited time early access discount. So the price of this course will be raised later on and don't miss out, head over to the link in the description below. So with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys the differences between the low, medium, and high optimized metahumans. And at the end of the video, I'll show you actually how to download and create your own custom metahuman. But right now, this is the low metahuman as you can see here. Basically, if I zoom up on this character, you can see the level of detail is very low. So basically, all the settings uh, that you have are low, medium, high, and cinematic. Cinematic being the original raw quality that we've had for quite a while but now we have these different settings that we can select from so the low quality as you can see is very low the texture quality the hair itself is just a simple hair mesh with a simple texture applied to it so you can really see that it's low poly and the textures are low quality so you can see the hand textures are a little blurry but this is mainly what you can use this for is probably like a mobile game or maybe you can use this for you know NPCs in your game but if I actually go from lit mode to wireframe we can see the simplified geometry from the low mesh so as you can see the beard and everything as well as the character mesh is very low in triangles so it's not a lot of geometry and the textures have been optimized as well so I believe the low has uh, 512 resolution textures. Now as for the medium over here, I can show you basically the difference. So there's a big difference in, in the face. So if I go again in the wireframe, you can see that we have a lot more geometry when compared to the low model. And this is perfect for you know a PC game. You can see all the uh, hair card meshes, but I think this is a really good quality and a really good trade-off between all the different metahuman settings and it's really nice now that they have actually optimized metahuman for games because previously they kept talking about using metahuman for game development and really wasn't feasible with the original metahumans because they were over you know a gig in size and the textures were way too high resolution and it just ate up way too much memory but now these characters are actually viable solutions for your own uh, character models in games so again, the wireframe isn't too complex for medium and the textures, I believe on the medium are uh, 1000. So I can go and check and yeah, 1024 by 1024 for all the textures. So it goes from 512 to 1024. Now for the high model, there's actually a bit of more geometry. So as you can see from the medium to high, there's a lot more geometry in the body as well as in the face in particular. So I go out of the wireframe mode and see there's a lot more detail, especially with the groom asset. So I think they're using a lot more hair cards for things like the hair as well. But you can see just the shader too. 
is a lot more detailed and the textures. So if we go ahead and browse to this, we'll go to the body textures. So this one is still using 1024 textures. So I believe the best or the recommended setting is to use high for your games. So it's basically uh, this character model because it has the best trade-off for uh, optimization for your game as well as detail and quality. And of course, after the high, we have the cinematic, which is the raw quality that we all know. Basically, this is just super high detailed and really not optimized for games. You're really only going to use this for things like cinematics or movies or something like that. I mean, you could use this in your game, uh, but probably only for things like cinematics or cutscenes. Uh, basically, you can use the cinematic quality version of the MetaHuman for that. So you can see, obviously, there's a lot more detail in the wireframe, especially in the face when compared to the high uh, quality model and all of these are using LODs so with the new optimized metahumans they're using a more aggressive LOD system uh, to improve performance in most use cases uh, they're using compressed textures to save on things like memory and they've optimized the materials with less instructions and more baked textures now if we actually check the size of these metahumans so if I browse to this folder, if I right click the folder and show the size map for you guys, we can see that the total amount of assets in this folder amounts to 150 megabytes. So that's how much total disk size this actually takes. And the main reason why it takes so much is because uh, this blueprint over here, which mainly is just the groom asset. So if we go into this, blueprint over here is 131 megabytes basically the most that it takes is the groom asset which is about you know 50 megabytes and the next one is a skeletal mesh which is about you know 45 so some of the things in the skeletal mesh are things like the animation blueprint control rig so you could remove you know the control rig you wouldn't really need some of these things so you can further optimize this and remove some of the stuff you don't need uh, but some of the stuff is like the textures and other different assets but as you can see it's a lot more optimized than the cinematic character so if i browse to the cinematic folder let's right click and show the size map on that so you can see this is over 900 megabytes so almost a gig in size so they've done a lot of optimization to the file itself and maybe we'll check out the high as well so let's right click and show the size map for that and this one is 213 megabytes. So again, you could optimize certain things in here. The main thing, again, is a groom asset, which is taking a lot of space uh, in the blueprint itself. Now to actually download the optimized metahumans, they aren't on Fab, so you can actually download them on the Fab Launcher. You'll actually need to go and install the Quixel Bridge plugin to 5.5. Uh, they removed it from 5.5, but if you head over to the Epic Games Launcher and search for Quixel Bridge, you can just click on Install and install it to the engine, and then just go to your window and open up Quixel Bridge. Then under Quixel Bridge, you can head over to the MetaHumans tab, and you can see all the different MetaHumans that you can pick from. Now over here, let's say I select any one of the MetaHumans, they do not actually have any options to download for low, medium, and high for any of these uh, presetted ones. And my guess is they haven't added that feature yet for these presets. But if you head over to your My MetaHumans, if you don't have any My MetaHumans, what you want to do is click on any one of these and start the MetaHuman Creator. And basically that will open up the website to create a custom MetaHuman, which you can then save and save it to your library, which once you do that, it will pop open under your My MetaHumans. So I've gone ahead and done that, and you can see I've created this custom one right here. But now with the custom one selected, you can actually choose the optimized uh, settings right here. So we have low, medium, high, and cinematic. And so I've downloaded all four of those, which are the ones that I have in the level. Now just note when you download any of the options, so if I download like the low, it takes a while for it to, to generate. So when you click the download, it will have to generate it. So just give it about 20 to 30 minutes and it'll take quite a bit to generate them. But once it's done downloading, you can click the add button and add it to your project. So that is pretty much it for this video. Those are the new optimized MetaHumans in Unreal Engine. 
There have been a lot of improvements to the way that metahumans work in the engine, and there are more viable solution for using characters in your games because now they cost a fraction of the memory and disk space. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new optimized metahumans in Unreal Engine 5.5 down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.